What's up, guys? Classy Metal here. After what feels like entirely, entirely too long, I can finally say Metalhead Box is here. Um, I've gone without it for a, a, just a few months, uh, two or three. It feels like it's been much, much longer than that. I've missed out uh, seeing some of the other uh, videos, seeing what you guys have been getting. Been kind of jealous not getting one for myself. So I've got my Metalhead Box. It's here. I've already gone through it as usual. Uh, superb welcome back box for me this month there was some great stuff in this i'm excited to share it with you guys if you're not familiar with metalhead box they are a monthly subscription service uh, to meet all of your metalhead needs uh, they have a regular metalhead boxes which I, i'm going to show you right now uh, you can pick your genre of preference i go with the all metal option i think towards the end of the year or towards the end of my previous a subscription before I canceled I was getting the uh, extreme metal box which was uh, primarily just death and black metal I went back to the all metal option just because I don't like pigeon pigeonholing myself into just one little uh, faction of metal so just know depending on what genre you pick and which option of the metalhead box that you pick you might have uh, different things in your box from month to month they offer a mini metalhead box they offer a cassette a uh, box and uh, a vinyl LP box. I think a two vinyl box. There's all kinds of stuff I will link up the uh, website to metalhead box so you can check them out yourself see the different options They've got all kinds of stuff. They've got anything that your heart would desire. So as I said, I got the all-metal uh, Genre just regular metalhead box first off first thing in this uh, we got back to school time backpack backpacks sorry dora explorer i know cheesy uh morbid angel they even threw in a little card i know sometimes people get things in these boxes and they don't know uh what it is but this is uh pretty blatantly obvious that this is a morbid angel tribute backpack one of these just kind of string style backpacks not something that i will get a ton of use out of probably of course i've been wrong about things like this before i may uh keep stuff in the truck throw stuff when i'm going on trips going to concerts that type deal uh speaking of going to concerts i'm going to see sacred reich uh they're back together man and and, and stronger than ever i'm going to see sacred reich in memphis on uh, i think it's september the 10th they're playing at growlers so if you happen to be going to that show Definitely uh, stop by and uh, give me a you know give me a shout out. Let me know that you enjoy the channel and uh, I'll be happy you know to meet you. So that being said, moving right along. Uh, next up, we got some black metal. Uh, we've got a Dark Throne tribute pin. They've done quite a few of these tribute pins over the past I'd say year or so. Uh, Mark Rudolph does a fantastic job designing these. They've been uh, several. I re I don't know how well this pin. I know it's uh, the focus doesn't seem to be wanting to cooperate too much. Hopefully, you can at least get a good look at that. My camera is not doing this pin justice. There we go. Uh, it just makes me want to howl. I mean, it's dark thrown. It's a, it's a it's probably one of my favorite pins. Just the uh, the image on this pin is probably one of my favorite pins that I've gotten through Metalhead Box so far. So definitely stoked to have that uh, in my pin collection now. Uh, there's a flyer. Uh, apparently, uh, Metalhead Box is partnering with Heavy and Humble Productions to put on a show. I'm sure this is somewhere in Canada, but it's kind of neat to have the little flyer. It says Heavy Metal Hunters from Japan. It's uh, Metal Lucifer, Demontage, and I'm not sure who the other band is. I apologize for my ignorance on that, but it's kind of neat. I like having these little... Uh, flyer type deals. Obviously, I won't be able to go to that show, but it's kind of neat just to have these little memento little things. I, I do enjoy uh, Demontage. I don't know too much about the other two bands. So, next up, we got a patch, and I have a funny story about this patch. This is a uh, suffocation. As you will see, there was quite a bit of death metal in uh, my box this month, and that is perfectly fine for me. Funny story about this. I'm almost ashamed to admit it. Uh, when I pulled it out of the box, it was like this and uh, the lighting in the room that I was in was pretty bad so I'm sitting there looking at it backwards and I'm like what in the world is this patch who is this suffocation ripoff band and then I flipped it over and it is suffocation so very cool patch and I'm an idiot next up we have a little wristband sweatband from my favorite band of all time we have a typo negative and 
it's just about that time of the year. I, I love typo any time of the year, but I will say that uh, I feel like September September Sun is one of my favorite typo songs. I always listen to that right at the 1st of September. We're almost at the 1st of September. And it kind of re-sparks my love affair with typo. And uh, all through, I mean, Halloween time, October, obviously, you're going to hear typo everywhere. But September, October, my favorite time of the year. Pair that with my favorite band ever and can't go wrong. So pretty neat to have that. I don't wear just the sweatbands and the wristbands just too much anymore, especially now that I'm out of the factory life work, but that's still a neat thing to have. And I will take anything that has that O negative symbol on there. Uh, next up, I guess I'll show the t-shirt. And this t-shirt made an absolute poser out of me. Uh, this is Sacramento. Swedish, black and death metal. They, uh, they were killing it in uh, the late 90s. And uh, I'm ashamed to say I don't own any of their material. Uh, the, this is the uh, Blood Shell Be Spilled. And I believe uh, this is kind of a tribute to their Far Away from the Sun, which uh, came out, I believe, in, I think this card tells me, I think in 97, 96. Let me look. They put in a card. Sometimes people get these shirts and they don't know what the band is. Yeah, and uh, they have one for Sacramento there, and it was 1996 that uh, Far Away From The Sun. I'm hoping they got some new material. Sometimes when these bands that haven't put something out in a long time have a shirt in this box, it means that there's something on the horizon, whether it be just an EP, something new coming from them. So I'm hoping to uh, hear something new from Sacramento. I do enjoy their older stuff. I, and As I said, I'm kind of sad and uh a bit embarrassed that I don't have any of their material in my collection. I may have to change that. Maybe you guys that keep up with my regular collection updates will see me adding some here in the near future. Not for sure, uh, for certain, how much their older albums are going for now. I know sometimes some of the 90s, uh, especially 90s death metal albums, can be just absolutely outrageous in price. But hopefully I can find some Sacramento to add because I definitely wouldn't mind having them in my collection. Uh, it looks like the other t-shirt that you could have got this month was from a band, uh, a Brazilian thrash metal band, Nervosa. I haven't seen any spoilers yet for that shirt, so I'm kind of anxious to see um, what that shirt looks like. They have a new album out right now on Napalm Records entitled Downfall of Mankind, so I may even just check that out. I've, I've been kind of soured on thrash for a while, and I'm slowly slowly uh, starting back to warm up to it, and there's some bands that I'm finding that I really enjoy, so... Uh, may uh, just look into that Nervosa. South America has some uh, killer bands out right now anyway, so I'm sure that one won't be any different. Excuse me just one second. Been stealing my kids' Kool-Aids. Please don't tell on me. And last in this box, we have two CDs. Uh, the first, they're both 2019 releases. I was actually uh, super surprised and happy to find some, some brand new material in this uh, in this this month's metalhead box the first release is uh on dark descent records and unspeakable acts when you see those two names i just dropped the cd bear with me when you see those two uh label names on the back of an album you already know that it's probably not always but probably 90 percent of the time going to be some sort of death metal and it's going to be some pretty high quality death metal on top of that this is no different this is nucleus with their uh I believe this is their sophomore album entitled Entity. They are, man, they're hard to describe. They are death metal. Um, they're a technical style of death metal that has an almost an American old school death metal feel, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Some of their uh, music reminds me of uh, maybe some Nocturnus, like the key era, era. Let me try that again. The key era, uh, the key album era, Nocturnus. This, uh, this, kind of has that feel to me sometimes it's pretty good i did enjoy this i think the very first track on this release arrival was probably my favorite track on this has kind of a at times almost a spacey vibe going on with this but a fantastic release nonetheless i do want to spend some more time with this and uh potential for album of the year it could land a spot um it has some very very guttural vocals on this I, very enjoyable stuff a bit different a bit fresh i'm glad to hear something uh kind of mixing the pot a little bit in the uh, the death metal scene 
Next up, we have another 2019 release. As I as I said before, this is on Redefining Darkness Records label. I'm not too familiar with, but uh, after listening to this album, it's a, a label I think I want to check out more. The name of this band is Deathrus, and this is Hack to Death. This is a death thrash thrashy death metal album. Um, there, I believe these guys are out of Alberta, Canada, maybe Calgary. Fantastic release. Um, just headbanging that thrashy riff city and there's a track on here i believe it was track seven uh from hell they rise if you listen to that and it doesn't get your head bobbing and get there that uh that neck moving then you're not alive i mean I, I don't know what else to tell you fantastic stuff i definitely am going to be spending more time with this i was pleasantly surprised with how much that i like this has the raspy almost thrashy raspy uh throat growls and vocals and I, I i just dug this immensely i am super excited to spend some more time with this as i said uh from hell they rise is probably my favorite track on this that i've heard definitely definitely going to be spending time with this and uh you'll probably see me posting about this on facebook or instagram somewhere down the line because it will stay in rotation and i enjoy it that much all in all, I'm super stoked to be back uh, getting Metal Headbox again. I loved this month's box. It was a great return to form for me, getting boxes. Uh, my subscription's still going, so I have another one next month for you guys as well. Uh, once again, I just want to say thank you to all of you. You welcome me back. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't responded to all of your comments or questions yet. As I stated before, I just don't have an ISP right now. I don't have an internet service provider. So it's kind of hard for me to, to stay on using up all my data on my phone and all that type stuff because there's no Wi-Fi here. So I'm out in the boonies. Have nothing but uh, metal and flower. Oh, this side. Where am I? There we go. You see that wallpaper? Back there. Flowery floral wallpaper. That's all I have. Metal and flower wallpaper and Kool-Aid. That's all I have in my life right now. But, uh... Thank you guys once again. As I said, come see me. Come meet me at uh, Growlers. Come see some fantastic classic thrash. And uh, that's all I've got. I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy. Stay metal. And thanks again.